What's up everyone, Takedown here, welcome back to another hockey card video. Today I'm going to be opening up another one of these championship collection boxes that you can find at Walmart here in Canada. Uh, they're only $15. They guarantee one autograph card, one relic card, and four factory sealed packs. So you can literally find anything. What I got last time was two current packs within the last three years, and then one Parkhurst pack, which all the cards were sticking together. Hence why I do not like Parkhurst anymore. And then you get one score pack. So I'm expecting to find the same. Now for the jersey card and the relic card. Or the autograph card and the relic card. I don't think they're worth too much of value. You can see them up in the top corner here. But we're going to open up this box to see what we find. Hopefully we have better luck. So let's just open this up here and get right into it. I'm just going to pull out the uh, packs first. One, two. Three and four. So as you guys can tell, if you guys watched my last video, I got the same exact packs. So I got a 16, 17 Parkhurst, which all the cards were sticking together. I'm expecting the same thing this time. We have an 1819 Series 1, an 1819 Series 2, and then a score pack from 1213. Uh, Won't even focus here. Oh well, I'm going to say it's 1213. So, just like last time, I'm going to start off with the score pack, and then I'm going to do the Parkhurst because the Parkhurst is my. the one I don't like the most. So, let's open up this score pack first. Wow, some of these packs are really hard to open. Okay, so let's just get right into it. Up first, Patrick Kane. Danny Clearly. <laughs> Let it focus, come on. Uh, Yannick Weber. Michael Roslav. All right, not too bad. Uh, award winner for Brian Campbell. Put that in a separate pile here. Bobby Hall, uh, the franchise. I actually like this card. I think I have small PC of Brian Hall, so that's a that's a win for me. I'm gonna say that's a win. And then we have James Wawinski. Wisinski. I always butcher names. You guys know this, so it's nothing new on my channel. But that Brian Hall card. I'm going to say, okay, we're off to a great start. Hopefully that's some great luck. Now I'm going to be opening up this 1617 Parkhurst card. I'm hopefully going to have, I'm hoping all the cards are not stuck together like the last video, but every Parkhurst card or pack that I've ever opened, they're always sticking together. And I can tell you right now, this is like a brick. They're all stuck together. So this is not going to be fun. Uh, up first, we have Jake Furtanen. Listen to this. Yeah, terrible. Victor Hedman. Uh, Jean-Gabriel Pajot. Pajot. Why did I say it with an L there? I don't know. That's a player I like. Brian Dubinsky. Nick Bonio. Oh, I like this card too. Hopefully it's not damaged. Phil Kessel in the red. I have a small PC of Phil Kessel, so that's definitely going in it. All these are sticking together. Cam Atkinson. John Carlson. I think I picked this up in the last pack I opened of these. Uh, I don't know. I can't really remember. Taylor Hall. That's a nice one to get for me. I think I have enough for a small PC of his, too. And a rookies for Sergi Trorowski. Tall Shinsky. I don't know if I got that last time or not. I can't remember, but we're off to a great start, I'm thinking, for me. For my personal PC, that's why I do these videos, is just to gain stuff for my personal PC. So, I mean, the Bobby Hall card, and then uh, Phil Kessel in the red. I'm going to take that as a win so far. We'll see what else we can find. Next pack here, I'm going to be doing this Series 1 
of 1819. So up first we have Sean Couture. Not too bad. I might have enough for a small PC of his as well. Uh, this one's sticking together here. Pontus Aberg. Jeff Petrie. I am going to save this one for a minute. This one I'm excited for. This one too, but uh, Patrick Marlowe. I can't remember if I have this one or not. That's a nice one for me. James Ramir. Nice goalie card to add. Devin Dubnik. Roman Josie or Yossi. And a Jaeger Years. This is 06 for Jaeger. I'm really excited. You guys know I have a small PC of his. So in each of these packs so far, I managed to find a player or a card that I'd love to have for my collection. So I'm off to a great, great start. This box was definitely well worth the 15 bucks compared to my last one. And it's now the 1819 Series 2. Let's see what we can get. I'm... I'm crossing my fingers on this. I'm really excited now that I have a lot of stuff for my PC to add. Alright, let's see what we can find. Great start so far. P.K. Subban. I just say P.K. P.K. Subban. That's a nice one to add to my PC. Uh, Ryan Murray. James Neal. A marquee rookie for Maximum Comatos. I think I have one of his. I can't remember. Uh, Tyler Seguin. I actually have a small PC of his, so that's a nice one to add. That card looks amazing. Uh, Granlund. David Perron. And Jake Vertanen. So not too bad. I got a Tyler Sagan and a PK Subain. I know they're base cards, but that to me is awesome to get cards for my PC. That's why I absolutely love getting these random packs. And now, last but certainly not least, I have... Oh my god. I am really excited for this. Like, I'm, I'm legitimately shaking right now. Uh, the autograph card is amazing. And the uh, Relic card is amazing as well. So I'm going to start off with the Relic card. We have a dual jersey for artifacts, including P.K. Subain on the right, which is awesome. I can never find a jersey card for his. Come on, focus. Please focus. And it also includes Larry Robinson. So this is an amazing card. I'm really, really happy with this. You guys know I'm a uh, huge fan of P.K. Subban. Of course, I already had a base card and I was excited about getting it. So this is amazing. I'm really excited. I'm definitely going to have to look at the value for this one because I'm really excited. But even more so for this next card. An ultimate signature. Um, I can't see if it says what year. Uh, 0708. Ultimate signature for Alex Tange. This one is the one, in my opinion. This is awesome. Compared to my last video, where I didn't get worth crap, in my opinion, to get two great relic cards, a relic card and an awesome uh, auto autograph card, that is amazing. I'm definitely going to have to check the value of this. This has to be, in my opinion, one of my top cards to have in my PC right now. Um, but definitely, definitely worth $15, in my opinion. So if you see this at Walmart... I definitely would recommend picking it up. I know the last video I kind of had my doubts on. Uh, I didn't really get the greatest in my opinion, but to me, this was definitely worth it. You never know what you're going to get, and I definitely had a lot of fun, which I guess you guys can tell. So I'm going to leave this video here. I have one more box to open. I'm going to be doing that very soon. And I also have this one here, which I don't know if I'm going to open it up all at once or wait. It's 16 field... Uh, <laughs> Field. 16 factory sealed packs per box again i don't know when i open that one up on video if i'm going to open it up and do all 16 packs at once or if i'm going to break it up into two videos i'm likely going to do two videos but i hope you guys enjoyed i'm going to leave this here please take care peace